And now for something completely different. Hey everyone, it's me Lava, and today I'm recording a brand new playthrough of the video game Psychonauts. It's a game that I really like a lot, and I know it's a lot different from the uh, other content on my channel. Let's Plays are pretty new to me. I'm still going to be making video essays and everything, but I wanted to try my hand at playing through uh, Psychonauts to show you guys what it's like. And I think I'm about to start a cutscene here. The human mind. 600 miles of synaptic fiber, five and a half ounces of cranial fluid, 1,500 grams of complex neural matter, a three pound pile of dreams. But I'll tell you what it really is. It is the ultimate battlefield and the ultimate weapon. The wars of this modern age, the psychic age, are all fought somewhere between these damp, curvaceous undulations. From this day forward, you are all psychic soldiers, paranormal paratroopers, mental marines who are about to ship out on the adventure of their lives. This is our beachhead, and this is your landing craft. You shall engage the enemy in his own mentality. You shall chase his dreams. You shall fight his demons. You shall live his nightmares. And those of you who fight well, you will find yourselves on the path to becoming international secret agents. In other words, psychonauts. The rest of you will die. <laughs> oh, Maury. Uh, children, you are not going to die. Well, if you're not a psycho doc, then you might as well be dead. They told me this was a summer camp. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dogen. Don't worry about old Coach Oleander. I've been coming here for years, and trust me, nothing ever happens. Yeah, Dogen, Lily's right. You don't got nothing to worry about. Except for that giant monster in the lake I was telling you about. Bobby Zilch, I told you to stop scaring people with that ridiculous old legend. I don't want the kids to be afraid to go out at night and walk alone on the perfectly safe paths of Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp. And we don't want to scare our special guests, Superstar Psychonaut Sasha Nine and Mia Vodello. Whoa! Light Monster! Formation. <laughs> Resisting. Quick, bring it over here. And thus enters our main character. What is it? It's just a little boy. What's your name, darling? I'll find out. Get, get in. Ugh. My name. Starts with a D. Is Rasputin. Mm. But everybody calls me Raz. Please don't kill us, Lake Monster! Compelling. Armored like a tank! Sorry I'm late. I don't want to disrupt your briefing, Agent Oleander. Agents 9, Vodello, please, continue. Where do you think you're going? You've broken into a highly classified remote government training facility. I know. Isn't it great? Listen, why don't I just sit over here quietly with my fellow psychedets? Hey, how's it going? I like your hat. We need to have this young man taken from here immediately. I'll call his parents. What? But don't you train psychonauts here? Yes, darling, but... To soar across the astral plane. 
to wage psychic warfare against the enemies of free thought. That is what I wrote on the front of the pamphlet. Those words are why I'm here, Coach Oleander. Do you remember what you wrote on the inside of that pamphlet? You were born with a special gift, but the people around you treat it like a curse. Your mother is afraid of you, and your father looks at you with shame in his eyes. Come to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp, and you can show them all. Back home, your powers make you a loner, an outcast, a circus freak. But in this dojo, in this psychic dojo, they make you a hero. Get that soldier a bunk. Now, darling, you can stay here for a few days until your parents come for you, but we can't let you participate in any paranormal training without your parents' consent. I'm sorry. Wowie, you're so lucky. You get to go home soon. Home? Back there, I was just like you were, Dogen. Punished by my own family for having powers I never asked for. But here, I have a chance to be something, to make a difference. They may come for me, Dogen, but they'll be looking for Raz, the boy. What they're going to find, what they don't expect, is Raz, the Psychonaut. And, and, and then you'll make their heads explode? No. Do you do that? No. Well, once, kinda. But... Now I wear this special hat. Want to try it on? No, no, no. But he has mental defenses like I've never seen in someone so young. If I could just get him in my lab for some experiments, I'm sure he could withstand more than the others. That kid's one in a million, Nine. But I'm not gonna let you turn him into one of your guinea pigs. I got big plans for that mind. <laughs> Now it's time for me to uh, make my profile. Let's let's call it a uh, bungus. Yeah, bungus is good. Bit of a bit of an inside joke between me and my friends. down in here. Big day tomorrow. I want to see each and every one of you runs in my classroom at 0600 hours on the dot. I'm the early bird and you're the worms. Got it? Now, lights out! Okay, quick eye exam before we start. It's tutorial time. Huh? Look over that way if you will. Wow, what's that? Oh, that's a side challenge marker. The staff scatters these all over the camp to test the students. Every one of these you find advances you a whole rank. Uh-huh. Now look up for me if you will. Look up at the sky. Hmm. Some of the old markers have fallen apart. You'll find bits of them flapping around loose. If you find enough of these side cards, you can put them together to make a brand new challenge marker. But you have to buy a side core at the camp store to hold them together. Keep ranking up and before you know it, you'll be able to use brand new psychic powers. Stuff you didn't even know you could do. And then when do I become a psychonaut? Because I have to do that before my dad shows up to take me home. Hey, where'd he go? That guy looks so familiar. Oh, didn't have time to read that. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, Raz! Hurry up! You don't want to be late for basic braining! Woohoo! Basic braining is the best class ever! Woohoo! I really like the cinematography in the shot. It looks neat. And there it goes. Alright, so uh, the reason why I've decided to 
uh, make a Psychonauts Let's Plays because, well, I don't want to make, I don't want to just make Let's Plays of just about any video game ever on my channel. No, I'm not turning this into a gaming channel. I'm still going to have video essays and stuff. But what I want to do with video games like Psychonauts is I want to play through and show my audience just neat little video games that I feel are very adjacent to Western animation. Okay, well, not necessarily Western animation, but stuff that's adjacent to TV animation. And Psychonauts, I feel, is like the first thing that comes to mind to fits that category. Uh, you can probably hear it in some of the voice actors and some of their um, uh, beat timing that they've got going on. But yeah, Psychonauts is a really great game. Uh, it reminds me, it's like a cross between uh, Camp Lazlo and Invader Zim, and it's really good. Also, yeah, I want to keep my videos uh, around 10 minutes long, give or take. Uh, so this is probably where we're going to have to stop for now, and where we're going to pick up for the next episode. Good night, everybody, and you have a great rest of your day.